the vision for this particular project was uh, for our entire community, which was the greater Dayton area, to come together to present uh, an event or pretty much a, a weekend um, of events that would feature creative arts, education, and entertainment. My uh, colleague and I, uh, Pega Ramani, and uh, we just came up with the concept of uh, having a week-long event uh, dedicated to hip-hop and raising uh, consciousness and awareness uh, to the community. We came together one day and just came up with the concept of, you know, having something that deals with hip-hop from an you know, academic slash entertainment sense. To bring a dynamic program that does not skimp on the flavor. I was one of the co-creators of the Regional Academic Cultural Collaborative that took place in April of 2009. Well, we brought in uh, Sierra because she pretty much knows how to organize and how to bring the concepts and ideas together in which way it flows. Plus, she was doing her own piece with the entertainment uh, component, uh, how to get businesses involved in, you know, uh, doing musical, music entertainment. So we kind of yeah, piggybacked off of her week or her weekend and then added that, added our component to that. So that's kind of how the formation of RAC uh, came out to be what actually took place. We actually set out with a complete vision to produce a nationally recognized artist, which ended up being Common, which was the artist that we sought out and wanted to work with. And we had it set up to where he would go and speak to the, uh, to the kids in the library because he, you know, he, he's done children's books. Uh, see, I wrote this book, it's called The Mirror and Me, and I wrote it in rhyme form, which is really the style of hip hop. This is the story of the mirror in me. I'm gonna tell it as clear as can be. I'm an 11 year old by the name of Kyrie. And every time I look in the mirror, I ask, why me? That, that went beautifully. We had a lot of children come out to that. And you know, the video will show that. Um, and then from there, we had, you know, had this lecture. On how music impacts communities and how music can heal people and heal communities. Hey, yo, Jake, how y'all feeling? It's important that if we know ourselves, then we can be ourselves. So just please be yourself in what you're doing, in, in whatever form it is. The nice thing I liked about Common's lecture was everything came from the heart. He came from his heart, he just talked about how much hip hop has influenced his life and, and how, it's, you know, been a, how he's been able to take that art and that craft and to reach and touch others. And I think that's the overall goal of what we're wanting to do with, uh, with this piece, uh, with this whole event, and that is to take what we know to shape it, craft it to where it, you know, touches the lives of others, and it definitely in a positive way. That don't take anything away from the other boys. That don't take anything away from the other students to say, man, I'm a great, I'm a great student right now. I'm a, I'm a great teacher. I'm, look, I'm a, the greatest teacher right now. My, look at my class right now. You're supposed to be proud. You put in that work, you be proud, but you don't treat people less than when you are at that level. That's all it is. Then we had the signature series that featured Natalie from Flowetry or the Flowesses and Kevin Sam Bloom. We had Deaf Poet Emerald in the house, um, Premium Blend, Shakira Jones. There was just so many people there that tore it down that night. Audience is normally only about 175 people, and that night we actually had about 450 people in the building. It was just beautiful. And that Saturday morning, we got up, and um, after doing all of that, we hung out with, uh, received knowledge that that was just life changing. It's a hard climb, but you have to stick with it. And know that if it doesn't happen for you in five years, you got to be able to look this up from here and say, I'm going to continue at least another five years. As we said in an earlier panel, you never know how the journey will take. And so in this business, the relationships are very, very small. But in terms of Getting people to, to buy into a vision, getting people to want to be a part of something that they could that was not tangible was extremely difficult. 
you know, when you're asking people to put dollars, to put their dollars and the few dollars that they had toward a project that they didn't know if, if, if it was going to work. I mean, I mean, it, it was almost magic. And all of this is just because of, you know, where our hearts are at. You know, we're not, we're not making any money off of this. We're just simply, you know, wanting to educate, wanting to tell people about, you know, the, the industry, the entertainment industry as it relates to, you know, poetry, to singing, to hip hop, to, you know, just about anything. And I think for this year coming out, uh, we ha I think we have enough people to where it can be even bigger and better than before. It takes a lot to get things accomplished. You have to work with a lot of people. And some days you have to be willing to bend to allow the beauty of what you love to be what you What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new.